Are you looking to build a website that's actually free? Well, HostBot has your back with this free website builder. Let's go check it out. The first thing that you want to do is head on over to the link in the description to sign up for the free account. Let's go head on over to our landing page builder or website builder. In this case, this is how you're going to get started and it's super easy to follow these steps. First off, we wanna browse themes to find something that we actually like. We can go ahead and view themes in the marketplace. We can check these out by clicking on them and actually previewing them. So for example, if you like one of these themes, we can go check it out. For example, these are free. I'll look at it. If it's something that I like, I could say, you know what, I like this. I could go ahead and install it for free. If you don't like it, go ahead and choose another theme that's more to your liking or to your business, right? So let's wait for this to get installed and we're gonna get started really quickly with this. Okay, so I can start building my site or edit theme settings. In this case, I wanna start off with building the site. Now, if you start off with theme settings, you can go ahead and start customizing colors and those kind of things, but we'll get to that in a bit. So I'm, in this case, I'll name it home because it's going to be the main page for my website. That's what we're gonna be starting with. And since we selected that particular theme, we have available all these pages that we can select from. So it's super easy to get started. In my case, I want to look something for like landing page or home page. For example, home page, social media marketing, landing page career, landing page product and services. And there's more pages to this. Let's go ahead and select another one, testimonials, no. So we'll go ahead and select this one right here, home page for social media. I can preview the template before selecting it. In this case, I'll make it really quick. So I'll select that one. So let's go ahead, okay, okay got it. And we're going to get started. Now, some of the features are paid, so you need to be aware of that. But the main things to actually build a website are free. So it's gonna be really good. Now, how do we edit our page? Each one of these sections has modules inside of them. And we're able to edit these modules because the options are on the left. For each one of these sections that we click on, we're gonna get settings on the left. So I want, if I want to edit this button, I have the options here. Select the layout, I can select it there. The content, so you can see the content on the right. So I can say, um, I don't know, a good way, instead of fabulous, and I can apply changes. There we go, and it's just updated. So for each section, we have the options on the left. If I click on this section, we have the options on the left, so on and so forth. If we want to delete a section, we'll just go ahead and select it, and we have these options here. So I can title the content, I can clone this module in case I wanna use it again, or I can remove it. So just like that, I was able to delete it. Now, what if I want to add a section? Well, each one of these sections has a little plus button. So if I wanna add something here, I click on it, and I can add from one of the sections that this theme already has, which makes it super easy, and I can also add a layout. So if I wanna custom add something of my own, and I have the distribution here. So if I want to add a section that's, that's divided in two, it's added there. And on the left, we have the theme modules that we can add. For example, there's several of these modules that are super useful. You can go ahead and click on add, see all modules, and we're able to view all of these, like menu, page footer, password prompt, meetings, et cetera, et cetera. And we just drag them inside of here. So no meetings selected, obviously, because, well, there's no meetings there. Go back at home. I can go ahead and add an image here. Go ahead and select it and replace the image with that. So it's just as easy as that, adding modules, customizing this theme. So just like that, take your time, make your website that looks really nice, and continue with the next steps. So let's go ahead and go into settings. In this case, we're gonna give it a title. I'll just say home for now. The page language, in this case, it's English. And it's pretty cool because you can add variations of languages with HubSpot. In this case, the contents log is home, so we're good with that. Made a description for SEO purposes, search engines and optimization, so search engines can find your website, so add a really good made a description. Add a featured image. This is really important because when you share the link to your website, it's gonna display an automatic link. So if you share a link to Facebook, it's gonna automatically add that link, and it's gonna be the featured image. In this case, I'll just grab this image that I have here, and it's gonna be the featured image. Add an image alt text, also for SEO purposes. You have advanced options. Again, it's in the free version. Everything that you're seeing is in the free version. So we can add an HTML code to the head and footer in case you wanna add, for example, a chat widget, uh, something like uh, analytics, like Google Analytics, Clarity for Microsoft, etc. Choose a different template, edit this template, canonical URL, and all of that good stuff. So it's going to optimize. 
and optimize, you're gonna get some little warnings on the left in case they are suggesting to you that you optimize it. So we'll see like a, a three here, and we'll see what they are suggesting. And if you have some things untitled, we'll see it there. And they'll suggest you to have a good landing page or website, so it's optimized. So I like that option. And the publish options. Do you want to publish, publish now or schedule for later? And also schedule unpublish. Now you might be saying, why would I want to unpublish a website? Let's just say that you are making a website for a concert and the concert is, I don't know, 2022, um, August, and it's over in 31st of August. So maybe you want to unpublish it once the concert is over because you don't have use for it. That could be a use case, okay? If you're good to go, we'll go ahead and publish. Publish page now. There we go, it's published. Let's go ahead and go to the link. And this page is published now, all right? So this is a published page that someone can go visit. Now there's more things that we can edit here. So we, you can see there's a little space here because we added a meeting module that we are not using. Okay, so let's go into more options. We can go ahead and view this, clone it, create a multi-language variation. Like I told you, you can add like a Spanish, a Korean, Japanese, etc. your own. Add to a multi-language group, publish, unpublish, archive, and delete. We can go ahead and promote this, or we can go ahead and edit it. But in this case, let's go back into our section of pages and we're gonna go into marketing, website, website pages. And here's a page that we've just built. And we're gonna customize this a bit more. So I want to show you more options. Let's go into edit. The theme, we're going to edit theme settings. All right, so this is where we're going to edit more. For example, global colors. For example, the buttons are global colors. So we're going to be able to change that. For example, we have purple here. Let's just say that our branding is purple. We want to make the buttons purple. So we can do here with changing the global colors. Global fonts, if you want to change to that. The typography, the buttons, the spacing, the website header, the form, the block settings, the system page settings, and so on and so forth. We can apply these settings to this for the general theme. So for example, if you add more pages to this, we can tie them together and use the global settings for this. So let's go back into the page editor. Let's go ahead and exit. And now we're going to edit the rest of this page. We can add more pages to this right here. So we'll go into create website page or landing page. But in this case, we're gonna finish the CMS setup. So we have more options here. Again, the customized theme, which we did right now. We can create a block in case you want to add a block to this website. We'll skip it for now. We'll skip this one, customize the theme because we already did it. Connect your custom domain. So for example, if I want my link to be pretty, not like the one that HubSpot provides you, we can go ahead and connect a domain. So for example, if I go to my DNS manager, if I have a domain on Namecheap, on Cloudflare, on HostGator, whatever, we'll use that DNS to connect it here. So for example, if I have a subdomain that I would use for this, I'll just say sasmaster.net, and we'll have to point the DNS to this section. So the branded domain option to give us the settings for this, okay? Once you've added it, it's gonna propagate, it'll take a bit, and you can start using that link. So in this case, I haven't added this, but this would be my new link. And again, like I mentioned before, I am using this on the free version. So in this case, it's not propagated, so it's not going to work. Oop, let me go back. So it's not going to work. Uh, it'll say it is, but I'll have to add those options so I can verify. So right now, it's not going to let me verify. Let's go ahead and cancel this, All right? And let's go back into our website, marketing, websites, pages. And we're gonna continue with the finished CMS and we're good to go. So just like that, all right? So it's super easy to start off with buying the free account. You have a bunch of options that you can use for free. You can connect your domain so you can use it for free and have your own websites hosted here on HubSpot. So it's a really good option because HubSpot is a solid company that has your back. So you're not gonna be worried about downtime and those kind of things because they are pretty much solid. But don't forget, that link will be provided in the description so you can sign up for the free account at HubSpot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.